right? So the most of the symptom is get start with a wind call. After wind cold invading, it consumes the yang energy of body. This is a progression of the consuming of the yang energy of the body that we call the Sahana story. But exactly the same way there's a wamping. It's a warm disease. Or febrile disease, right? Febrile disease. Which means after wind heat. Wind heat invading to the body and then consumes consumes in or blood. Or body fluid. How progress of the consuming of the in after exposure to the wind heat, and that we call the vamping. How consume of the yang energy after catch up the wind cold or exposure to the wind cold. Uh, this uh, we call the shahanda. So the you can understand this way a patient. Suffer from four big sign, and yeah, which means high fever, and also big sweat, and big thirst, and also big purse. That we call the the shah, I mean the this uh, four big sign, but this happening is after uh, get after get the mahantang syndrome or mahantang symptom. After get the Mahangtan symptom, and then patient got the, this one, or there's another one, it's a little bit different one. After get the Yin Chao Sun syndrome or symptoms, and then patient got the, this problem. What do you think? So in TCM. This might be Qi stage or Yang Ming channel condition among the six uh, channel theory that will be Yang Ming channel among the four stage that will be Qi stage the Bosa has a high fever but anyway the patient who has the Mahang Tang symptom and then developed this one and also who has uh, in Chaosan symptom, then got the, this one. What will be this one? Okay, so I just uh, use it a little bit different color for you to understand. Okay. After patient got the four big syndrome, after the what got the in Chaosan, that's supposed to be Qi stage. But if patient symptom and signs start with a Mahangtan condition, and then this symptom might be in on um, the Yang Ming channel. Okay, Yang Ming channel usually develop from the Mahang Tang, even the patient has four big syndrome. And also same way who has uh, the four big syndrome with the in Chao San symptom, which is start with the in Chao San symptom, that will be Qi stage. Okay? Like this way that if patient got the similar sign and symptom, but depends on the what I mean how the symptoms start, we can apply to different uh, pattern okay and also they can ask in this way so another one which is quite often seen in the test or 
우리 인차우선 우리 쌍주인 사인 and then choice s o 타양 채널 and also number two is 양민 채널 number three is 샤오얀 채널 포트 is 주인 So among this one, which one is uh, in Chao San symptom? Yes, this is uh, exterior condition. So that's why the exterior, that will be Taiyang condition. Which means same way. Maung Tang or Guizhi Tang sign. Even the uh, Ren Shen. Bai Du San. Sign, all this sign, and among the this one, we, chi, ing, she. What stage is this? Among the these four stages, all this sign and symptom should be we stage because all these are exterior condition, right? So like this way, the. Exterior condition usually that's supposed to be Taiyang and also can be a uh, Wei uh, stage, but depends on the normally this it should be which one the Taiyang condition, right? If they asking about the, this way, that should be Taiyang, but if one gives to the this when um the when being stage in the mountain condition, that's supposed to be Wei stage. Okay, just keep in mind. It's same thing. This is uh, usually Wei stage, right? But it also can be a, uh, it can be Taiyang channel symptom too. If you see the Taiyang channel, Wei stage, or Xiaoyang channel, and also Qi level, or Qi stage, which one is answer? With the Yin Chao San, that's supposed to be Wei, right? Because this is a Wen Bing. So simply, we understand this one. But anyway, in disease progression it has a little bit different uh, progression after the what, catch a cold or the exposure to the heat pathogen or cold pathogen so anyway we have a uh, six stage in shahanun the normal uh, order of the six stages is uh, mostly taiyang and the next one is uh, the, what, yangming and also Xiaoyang and after that Tain Xiaoyin and Trin and most of the time they asking about the order of the Shanghanun mostly this is the right order in the test but uh, as you know there's uh, another group which uh, for example the, what's that? If you see the cam, cam follow the what's that? Xiaoyang is actually located between Taiyang and Yangming, so this also looks like okay. But the traditional TCM book, most of the traditional TCM book or original textbook of the Shanghanun, the Taiyang is the first one, and the Yangming is second one. And the Xiaoyang is the last one. This uh, shows to 3 to 1 is uh, how the Yang energy is contained in each channel. So there's a greater Yang, and this is uh, the extreme Yang, and the last one is uh, lesser Yang. So, anyway, this is uh, more, uh, I think uh, this is uh, more uh, understandable because the uh, Taiyang, we have uh, two different types of the Taiyang condition Taiyang channel and Taiyang Fu. And also here is the Yangming channel, Yangming. Uh, let's see. Yangming channel and Yangming Fu, and also Xiaoyang. Xiaoyang channel means mostly there's a channel and include Fu too. So this uh, channel and Fu together. So that's why when compare with uh, this way,
more compared with the uh, Yangming channel sign and Taiyang channel sign and Xiaoyang channel. Xiaoyang channel is a little bit deeper. I mean that there's another pattern is the Taiyang Fu and Yangming Fu. When you compare the Taiyang Fu, Yangming Fu and Xiaoyang Fu, Xiaoyang Fu is a more lighter one because uh, it located more extreme part. It's supposed to be located uh, here. Between the, this one. Because Taiyang Fu also there's a, some exterior sign too. So that's why. So Xiaoyang condition might be located between this Fu organ. But the, normally this uh, among the channel theory of the Xiaohan is supposed to be this is the right order. Okay. Because as you know the order of the Qi invading or uh, what the evil Qi invading it starts from the skin. And the next one is uh, what is that? the Lu and then the next one is the Jing and another one is Fu and the next one is Zhang but Cam they use the Zhang Fu it means it is organ so that's why the when you look at the, this one when you look at the, this one it's a uh, and channel, this is the whole channel part and this is the organ part when compared with the channel and organ, which one is located a little bit deeper? the organ is more deeper so in this case, Xiaoyang says all the time channel and full sign appear simultaneously but what about the Taiyang? there's only Chaiyang channel sign and also Yangming channel sign can be appear separately so Taiyang Fu condition usually there's a urination problem. Yang Ming Fu condition is mostly constipation, but not like a Yang Taiyang channel and Yang Ming channel sign is uh, not same as like the what the Xiaoyang condition. Xiaoyang is all the time they both up or appears. So when you look at this one, this two is only located the outside with the channel part. What about this one? Channel and Fu organ condition. So that's why it located here. And the next one is uh, Taing and Xiaoyin and Juin. This is the uh, same order. So we have two different schools with, uh, in Shanghanon. Shang one is uh, this progression, the other one is uh, uh, Xiaoyang located in the middle between the Taiyang and Yangming. Anyway, you might be understand uh, which one you should follow. Okay? And very first one, the who the road of the this uh, theory or the creator of the this theory, the, that is a Doctor Zhang. And he might be understand this way: after people die, the body is a little bit cooler than the normal. So he understand the what makes the people die, the among the six climate, the major one is the cold. So that's why he built up the cold damage. Okay, so the actually coldness is from the what, outside, and then invading to internal organ, but by the channel or organ together. So he ordered uh, some uh, order the channel by energy. So Taiyang is a uh, greater Yang with uh, there's lots of the Yang energy in there. And also next one is Yangming, and Xiaoyang is uh, the next one. This because there's some um, lesser Yang. There's not much Yang energy, so this coldness is not much affect the uh, Xiaoyang. So that's why Xiaoyang is uh, usually located very later. And after that, uh, this uh, entry to the Yin organ. Among the Yin organ, usually the Kidin Yang usually support the uh, Taiyin which is spleen and stomach. So in this reason, spleen yang is more weaker than kidney yang. And this includes the heart too. But anyway, there's a juin means pericardium and also liver. So this is uh, more related with the close to the heart reason, actually. But anyway, this, uh, when you see the, this one, this uh, has a more yang energy, which means this uh, three yang, um, the three in, second in, this uh, lesser in with the terminal in, which means there's a lots of the I mean there's a small amount of the yang energy in the, this channel, 
and this is a little bit uh, more and this is a more uh, yang energy in this channel so that's why drain organ they never get the yang deficiency which means yang energy is uh, fighting with the evil qi which is a cold pathogen which means among the one two three okay or abc okay i just put the abc among the abc which one is uh so have a weak power for resisting to the cold invading so this not much yang energy in the a which is a tie-in so that's why it is to surrender to the cold invading and the next one will be b and the last one will be c it's a the drain channel fighting until die so that's why this is a uh, strongly resist of the cold so that's why this uh, finally it give up the very later stage so who has a dream channel this looks like the very last stage of the shaman okay so keep in mind this one okay we turn back up to this chart in shaman the very first one is a taiyang condition taiyang channel with the exterior condition Because we call the, this a cold pathogen, cold pathogen invading to the body usually uses the door. Where's the door? So there's a largest organ in body and heavy. heaviest and largest organ in our body or in body where's the largest one was the heaviest one this skin is uh, actually largest one and also heaviest one so anyway the skin has a lot of the pores so not only nose and mouth is uh, it provides the more door to the cold pathogen when it invading so door of the chi is the we call the skin pores so that's why most of the pathogen affect the skin the skin part first for the entering to the body so that's why there's a skin area this uh, we know that uh, here is the skin and skin area, there's a uh, we have a uh, Wei Qi. Okay. Normally, Wei Qi warm up the skin part and also control the skin in normal condition. But when cold invading to the body, it's a cold pathogen. When cold pathogen invading here, usually this uh, Wei Qi work for block the this or fighting with the, this evil chi then uh, it lose the his uh, previous job with the wall of the skin so it fails so that's why most of the exterior condition you may have chills and fever you may have uh, what? chills or in the same time this uh, two fighting that's uh, evil chi it induced something which one fever so in this reason, there's a fever and chills simultaneously appear. This is what we call the exterior condition. So very first one in Taiyang condition, you have to know that's a chills and fever. And also second one, here is the blood vessel. Among the blood vessel, there's a most of the qi try to go out and support the vision, the wei qi function. So that's why most of the qi heading toward the skin part so you might be have uh, some sign ocean second one there's a super pressure first as you know and number three is a number three the number three is uh, actually thin code and number four the wind has uh, some character with light so that's why easily affect the upper body part which is cause of the headache so these four is a more common sign in the tie-up condition but who has a, this condition? I mean, the, this this is more mostly acute, right? Acute condition, 
and also these are all indicate Taiyang condition. So among the Taiyang channel, we saw the skin part. In Taiyang channel, we have uh, the one to four sign, and additionally, the channel chi might be blocked or have some trouble to the flowing because uh, evil chi invading. So that cause of the some stagnation. So that's why this uh, occipital headache and also nape stiffness and pain. And uh, in severe case, they might have a uh, the shoulder and back pain, or in severe case, it's a whole body ache because the Taiyang channel troubles the all part of the backside. So that's why who has a Taiyang syndrome, they might have a uh, this sign, which is an fever or aversion to wind and superficial pulse, thin, cold, and also there's almost most of things. This and also additionally, this uh, Taiyang channel. You might be have uh, some other sign. The Taiyang is actually exhale part. So in exhale, that related with the lung. So that's why asthma and sneezing, runny nose, or stuffy nose, etc. These are can be seen in Taiyang condition. But most important thing in here, the Taiyang channel, there's a cold damage. And another one is a wind stroke. The wind stroke is not like a stroke, so this uh, wind invading to the Taiyang channel, so that's why you might be have a sweat, but there's a no sweat because cold make a recontract of the skin pores, so that's why there's a no sweating, and also superficial and the freeze by cold, so that's why tense. What about this one? There's a superficial moderate. Because wind make a slowdown of the chi flow. So that's why you got the, this sign and symptom. So anyway, the, they like to asking about the, this way, a uh, patient who has a fishing trip and then the, he shows the, all this sign and initially my, um, the patient has a sweat on the chest. The old sign and symptom is looks like the Mahang Tang condition or Gogan Tang sign with a severe stiffness and pain. What do you think all this sign? That might be between the number one and number two. Which one is the right answer? The number? I mean the this uh, usually no sweat, but here is a sweat, so that's why this is uh, okay, right? So like this way. Uh, they like to use uh, the old cold damage sign and also there's a sweat in any part of the body that indicate the uh, wind stroke which means uh, this uh, can be explained as like this way wind effect Taiyang channel the previous one is cold effect the Taiyang channel this is wind effect the Taiyang channel it's quite often called the wind stroke or this is quite often called the uh, uh, cold syndrome or cold damage and also this is uh, quite often explained as like this way this is exterior excess and what about this one exterior deficiency right so Guizhi Tang sign is called uh, exterior deficiency Mang Tang sign is uh, exterior excess what formula can be used here and this one is uh, Mang Tang but not anymore, right? Or Gogan Tang. California, they don't use it to this one. Uh, this formula, not anymore. In the test. Okay, so Taiyang channel. If Taiyang channel symptom is not relieved, then what's going on? So this uh, coldness might be transferred to the uh, urine bladder. So this uh, foot Taiyang channel is lunged like this way. And also hand Taiyang also the same way. But anyway, cold invading to this channel area if followed by all this one then make a freeze of the all this pathway and also it enters to the, the urinary bladders of the kid it enters to the urinary bladder and also connect to the what, kidney too so in this reason if i draw the one more picture it here okay this uh, tie-on channel condition the, this organ here uh, this is urinary bladder 
and this small intestine. Okay, here's the concept with the uh, approach like this way. Cold pathogen follow the old Taiyang channel. Oh, this is not much. Okay, this is better. And cold pathogen follow the old Taiyang channel, which make a stiffness and pain. But it also enter to the ocean, the urinary bladder. It might be freeze up to this one. It might be freeze up to this one. Because coldness is invading to here. And not only invading to here, there might be effect small intestine too. So small intestine also get freeze. And in same time, it might be connect to kidney too. So kidney get fr uh, freeze too. So that's why you can understand this way. And there's a water might be retention in the urinary bladder because this outside of the urinary bladder is uh, freeze by coldness. So the Taiyang channel condition, there's a still remain the Taiyang sign, channel cold sign. That might be less than 30% might be remain. But most of them is entered to the urinary bladders. So freeze of the urinary bladder, there's a no urine out. So output, so that's why there's a some sign which indicate the retention of urine and also difficult urination and also there's uh, what else difficult urination retention of urine this water might be overflowing that cause of the edema too and this type of the condition can be seen but also there's a water retention in urinary bladder so you might have a lower abdominal pain with uh, this light to touch and also we leave by warmth if you apply to some one thing maybe symptom might be uh, getting better so this is uh, we call the holding sun sign it's all Holdings and side. Holdings and condition, right? The holdings and condition is explained like this way. Water build up in Taya. Full condition. World build up condition in Taiyang Fu. So that we call the Wuling San condition. So anyway, cold invading to here, this water may not uh, come out. And also, there's a lower part, as you know, the kidney yang should be warm up after this uh, urinary bladder. But somehow, there's a coldness also block the ocean, this kidney yang. So, in this reason, there's a, it fails to vaporizing of the water, so water may not transfer to upper body. Or fails to the transportation transformation in urinary bladder. So that's why this uh, upper body part. may not get the water enough so that's why this ocean irritability and thirst so that's why patient try to drink of the water and also there's uh, something happen after the drinking of the water because right above here so mostly I mean the right above here with the stomach at here, right? After water goes into the stomach, so in lower portion with the small intestine also get freeze as like the urinary, uh, urinary bladder freeze. So if patient try to drink up the water, but this water cannot go down to urinary bladder, I mean the, to the small intestine. So that's why mostly you have uh, some sign from it right after. drinks.
right? So this is the only one we saw seen in the Wollings and condition, which means water retention in the stomach or intestine, um, the stomach or intestine, especially stomach, um, a small intestine region. So there's uh, something retention in this area. This also may refuse to transporting of the uh, uh, stomach, and uh, and then there's a uh, vomit right after the drink. This can be seen. And this is a Taiyang uh, Fu sign and symptom. So Taiyang Fu, when you see the, this one, this is not only Taiyang, uh, I'm the UV problem. The small intestine problem is vomit right after drink, but not only this one. If small intestine has a coldness, you might be have a abdominal pain. Which is uh, better with uh, Mom, but worse. Why? Touch. Because it's all excess condition, same as like the uh, the Wollings condition. And here is another sign with uh, more sign here, and this. Coldness may block the small intestine absorption for function, so that's why this uh, Volvrigmus and also it might be because of the diarrhea Okay, so here is the whole sign the summary by the uh, all together summary by the small intestine function and vomit and diarrhea with abdominal pain which is acute condition so this is all sudden sudden uh, vomit and diarrhea with abdominal pain this is a very similar as like what is that the sudden turmoil this one So this is we call the Taiyang Fu condition. And Taiyang Fu, there's uh, two different types of the Taiyang Fu, but we have to study of the three things. So anyway, so here is the Taiyang Fu. First one is uh, what is that water buildup. And this is the first one. And this water buildup condition is uh, all cold pathogen retain longer that might be turning into motion, turning into the heat. So that's why so I just throw the, this picture one more time at here. And previous condition is uh, actually this uh, related with the ocean. Cold sign. So that's why this uh, Wolling Sun condition, you have uh, this sign, right? This is the Wolling Sun condition. and cold in the Taiyang channel. That might be goes to here and this goes to here too. And this is a Wollings and sign. But symptom is to get worse or little longer. It's starting to the change to the heat. This coldness may start of the change to change into heat. There's two options whether this picture the exactly same picture is so uh, we can apply to this one too I don't know how to use it but anyway so here's another picture uh, we finish up the, this one first and the normally without the water retention that might be created of the what's the, the blood uh, filled up condition we, we covered that later but anyway so here's already inside there's already water inside, right? Inside there's a ocean water. And here's the water too. Water retention. And then this condition with the Wolling Sun condition changed into heat, that we call the drooling tongue. 
And this case is actually we have a uh, water retention in the urinary bladder. So there's a uh, water and heat combine. Okay, is that we call the Julian term? How different between the Julian term Wooling and Wollingson? So there's a heat sign. The heat, this uh, might be transferred to the two part. Anyway, urinary bladder, this uh, cause of the damp heat. I mean, that's similar as like the damp heat sign in UV. Because there's a water retention and also additionally the heat. So this is uh, similar as like the Bajeng sign sign. You might be have a old passing sign, and additionally, there's a more water retention, and also there's another one. This water retention is also affect the small intestine too. So that's why there's a vomit. That there's not much vomiting. It actually, there's a coldness is uh, now is a, a proportion of the small intestine is uh, but release or dilate again now because heat make a dilate of the, this upper portion or lower portion of the stomach so that's why this it might be allowed to some of the water the flow into the small intestine so that's why there's not much appear the uh, vomiting but anyway there's a still perpigmus and diarrhea may appear and also additionally this small intestine heat might be transferred into the stomach because small intestine is a uh, tayang and the stomach is a yang ming which means the coldness is a uh, tayang is uh, like to keep the cold temperature but if temperature is warm on the getting uh, raised up so usually Taiyang cannot hold it the this pathogen anymore. It should be moved on to the Yangming organ or Yangming channel. So that's why the there's a heat sign might be appear in the stomach area. So if you have a heat in the stomach, but uh, irritability and also additionally there's uh, insomnia and also there's a thirst. These are can be seen because the uh, stomach fire or stomach heat easily transport into the heart. So that's why the Julian tongue condition you have a uh, irritability and insomnia with uh, with the thirst. These are all heat sign in the small intestine, which on the heat sign in the stomach, which uh, transport from the small intestine. Okay. And urinary bladder has a heat. Usually, you got the uh, water retention with a heat sign. This is uh, similar to like the damp heat sign up here, also Bajeng sign. So Bajeng sign is uh, not anymore. The what's that? The this one. It might be have uh, this, but Bajeng sign does not have a uh, diarrhea or perpigmus. This only UV problem. But small intestine is so water retention in the small intestine. Formerly, these are also still may cause of the diarrhea and uh, perpigmus. So that's why this uh, key sign, Bajeng San sign, additionally, the diarrhea, so diarrhea sign, or see insomnia or heat in the, the heart sign, this uh, we call the Chuling Tan condition. Okay. Tayang Fu, which means. It starts from same picture, same as like the previous one, okay. And when it's small intestine or urinary bladder getting uh, warm up with heat sign, the earliest I mentioned this, the previous condition is a cold, but this cold is changing to heat. This heat may not uh, remain in the this two organ with uh, Taiyang Fu. Taiyang Fu like to keep the cold condition or cold temperature. They like to very uh, uh, they like to uh, cold condition. 
or core temperature but if this heat or this coldness is changed into heat this heat might be transferred to Yangming so Yangming is a like easily accept of the this heat transportation which is from the Taiyang so this is a normal progression which is created of the blood build up condition in Taiyang which means Taho Chang Chi Tang condition okay what is the Taho Chang Chi Tang so previous one is uh, there's a water retention but this case is uh, not much appear the water retention UV and small intestine somehow the Taiyang channel coldness so this is a change into I mean the goes into the the two organ this full organ is actually the, the retain longer of the, this pathogen uh, that might be changed to heat he might be transferred into the yangming for it okay so when it goes to the yangming for again it might be past the uterus too because uterus is a uh, we call it, there's a chong and ren so this is uh, with that c of the blood and this is c of the yin somehow these two channel has uh, some stagnation or bad condition after these two it might be allowed to this heat transport into the uterus without transfer to the large intestine so before go over to the large intestine it might be affect the uterus first so the most of the people who accept the, this the transportation the, they might be have a blood stagnation in uterus four more conditions are this one this one is may allow to the this heat invading so because uh, this blood stagnation actually we call uh, no blood function which means its nourishment action is uh, actually the decrease the blood nourishment action will be decreased so there's uh, not much liquid in, uh, remaining here so normally there's a large amount of the water the fire is uh, skip the, this water but the water is a small amount of the water remaining here this fire is insert of the, this one uh, forcefully so that's why this heat usually who has a blood stagnation in uterus the, they might be allowed to the, this heat transport um, the, from the urinary bladder uh, into the uterus this type of the transportation is, uh, might be seen very openly so they might be have a blood stagnation and also there's a heat we seen transfer from Taiyang food. Mostly this is happening at the two different organ. One is our uterus or it's large intestine. And both organ has a this condition that we call the Taho Shengchetang condition. So and somehow this patient still remain the some cold sign on the Taiyang channel. But this is uh, less than 20% or 15% of the 50%, the less than 15% of the cold may remain on the Taiyang channel. Sometimes there's a or nothing. So or there's a nothing remain in the Taiyang channel. So these two condition, I mean the it means patient might be have a chosen fever or no chosen fever. If patient has a slight of the chosen fever, that might be very slightly, slightly chosen fever, which means they slightly made the cold sign over the Taiyang channel or nothing. And additionally, this I mean the beside of this condition, usually they have a blood stagnation in the uterus, and additionally there's a heat sign up here. So these are usually created of some sign and symptom which is called dysmenorrhea or amenorrhea or irregular menstruation sometimes there's an infertility so this type of the condition may seen in here and also this condition developed another the sign with uh, blastasis with heat it means the blood 
and heat. So this uh, looks like heating blood. You might be see the heating blood sign, especially there's uh, some mania or mental derangement or there's coma too. And this sign and symptom is uh, make it worse, the fever at night time. And also heating blood that may cause of the bleeding too. This dark red and with a clots. So this type of the symptom also can be seen in the Tao Cheng Shi Tang. So in this region they uh, added the, some I mean they used the these two Tao Huang and Tao Ren. Both are its works for the Tai Yang Fu with uh, blood build up condition. Da Huang is uh, excellent for the purging in action, which means good for the conspiration. And also, additionally, it's uh, activate of the blood in action. So mainly, it works for the large intestine, right? And Tao Ren is good for the uterus because this uh, activate. blood and regulate menstruation and additionally it, is, uh, it has another action which is intestine so this is a promote bowel movement so in this reason so if the disease disease goes to some area of the body especially when you see the, this picture again it might be goes to uterus or it might be goes to the large intestine okay so that's why the any part the this area the this is move then you can use it this one so here is a one more thing which so you you have to know blood build up condition and water build up condition both are tie on condition Oops. both are tie on condition so you may have uh, some common sign after this. What is a common sign in here? This bosa has tayang condition, which means it's a uh, it might be tayang child signs with chills and fever. And also there's another one. It's the lower part. There's uh, some stagnation. So the lower abdominal pain. And also with uh, refused to touches so these are all common sign but what is the differentiate between these two so you can understand this way the blood build up there's a uh, the most of sign is a uh, mania and also mental problem and also uterus problem too so some blood disorder right but what about the water build up there's a uh, retention of urine which means the edema and also vomit right after so like this sign as you may see and the major different thing is the uh, water build up it's a mostly cold sign more and build up, blood build up is more based on the heat sign more Okay, and the common thing is that especially this part you have to take a look. The bones are something stagnant in here. So that's why they explain it like this way. Here's what is the big different thing? Urine or not. This is the differentiation between the tayang and the um, that water buildup and also blood buildup. Mostly there's a uh, urine. Here is the, the symptom, I mean the pathogen move from the Taiyang to the Yangming or uterus. There's no remain the, any pathogen in here. So that's why they have uh, some sign with uh, the normal urination or incontinence of urine. Or just uh, exist of the, this is a keyword, if no urine. 
No you did not put the syndicate the what tire? I mean the water build up in the condition real build up condition. You just know about this one. Okay. So you didn't or not, this is a keyword of the Taho Changshi Tang. The previous one is the Juling Tang and this one is uh the Taiyang Fu with uh the Taho Changshi Tang condition. The next one is uh we covered the uh, I mean we have short break and then we discuss more, okay? It's during the the class there's something wrong in and the next one we covered the first two part on um, the first part was uh, exterior condition Taiyang when you see the Taiyang condition there's an exterior deficiency with the uh, tongue sign and chills and fever and here's the sweating right key sign and symptom is sweating and also here's a no sweat right that is a key word. we can summarize up the all this condition again Taiyang channel condition this uh, excess and deficiency what is the differentiate between these two there's a no sweat and here's a sweat and also pulse is uh, the tense and this uh, moderate or weak purse okay the other sign and symptom is almost same and also Taiyang channel symptom is not relieved you have uh, the water buildup condition and also blood buildup condition and this uh, usually cold sign and this is a heat sign and additionally this uh, what is the keyword this urine I'm the no urine output but this uh, incontinence or the frequent or the urination here's a urine output but here's a no urine output and common thing is uh, here's a common cold sign but what about this one the lower abdominal pain after catch a cold that we call the time full condition if symptom is not relieved I mean the this one can be the progress or make it worse mostly this coldness move on to the yangming channel okay yangming channel is called the uh, is that the uh, yangming channel this is uh, more qi and more blood channel that would be yangming and which means there's a uh, lots of the qi and blood in its channel which means the it is good for qi and blood tonic and also it support of the energy that was uh, good for immune response also may increase by touching of the, this yangming channel because in TCM, this qi and blood is a uh, major one with fighting with the evil qi. So if you touch up the yangming channel, you got the what, increase of the what, immune function. So in this reason, there's uh, the Shanghai research with uh, uh, the, what, the Shanghai textbook. There's a mention with uh, when you touch up the yangming channel points such as the uh, large intestine 4 and large intestine 11 and stomach 36. And this type of the point has a function with the increase of the immune function. Immune respond. And normally there's a body upon the in infections. In our body is a secret the uh, secret the uh, histamine and also serotonin and bread cumin. These are is uh, may cause of the some infection reactions such as it cause of the redness swelling pain and fever especially fever here's according to the western this fever is usually the anti um, the evil chi i mean the pathogen invading to the body 
and then this uh, body has uh, some created of the antibody is secret secret or stimulate of the factors so secret so these are usually move on to the hypothalamus and then the hypothalamus especially this uh, body temperature setting point there's a set point which is for the body temperature may raise up and then body created of the fever this is a normal progression which means the your body secret on um, the secret of the some the, what the hormone and then it increase amount of the blood flow in the local area and which means there's a WBC which is a white blood cell it might be created the antibody and then this is secret the pyrogenic factor so they asking about this one what is the main factor which is the raise of the blood pressure the pyrogenic factor the genic is as you know this uh, generator with the creator so pyro means uh, fire so this uh, fire is um, the fire genic the factor actually so this is increase of the the body temperature so in this reason yang ming channel usually stimulate of the wbc and then it might be involved to what? the body temperature raise up so this is a tcm theory um, this is a western theory but in tcm this uh chain blood with a large amount of the chain blood in each channel which means there's a lot of the soldier which is fighting with the evil chi like a wbc so in TCM, this uh, WBC is a chain blood actually. So it increased by this one, which means the evil chain invading to the very superficially. It might be Taiyang channel is uh, fighting with uh, this evil chain invading. But if Taiyang channel is to uh, give up the, this or fails to this uh, protection, that might be move on to the Yangming with uh, what, the battlefield. So many people feel um, the explain it's like this one. The, this war area or battlefield so with the fighting with the evil chi so that's why there's a big fighting which created the big fever so that's why the yang ming channel condition you got the what, four big sign so what is the four bigs the first one is so you got the high temperature with the high fever and your body loses the what, sweat so that's why big sweat if you have a big sweat, you might be have a big thirst because you lose too much of the water, right? So these are three signs and also if you have a big fever, your blood flow will be the overflowing. So that's why the overflowing uh, purse, which means this is surging. You got the surging purse, which is called the big right so these are we call the four big sign at that time what formula can be used for the this condition we quite often use it the by hutang so they like to asking is like this way same condition who has a rheumatoid arthritis whether this kind of the condition what should you do the joint pain you can add it to some point on the herb uh, which is good for the joint region so that's why Guizi added to the Bai Hutang. This is good for the what? LA patient who has a high fever or the what, heat type of the heat type of the B syndrome. You also use the Bai Hutang plus Guizi. Okay, so there's a modification is really important, which means Bai Hutang plus Guizi. So this uh very important thing okay just keep in mind okay there's a four big sign and after this four big sign if the symptom is not believed the it might be transferred to the xiaoyang or it might be transferred into the large intestine or stomach so which means yang ming uh, four organ organ problem Okay, Yang Ming Fulgan problem. So what is the Yang Ming Fulgan sign? 
So heat entered the Yang Ming Fu organ actually, right? So here's the the base from um, the Yang Ming Fu organ will be stomach and also large intestine. Heat which acts as heat sign. The Yang Ming channel heat is uh, transferred to the Yang Ming Fu organ. You got the heat in the stomach and heat in the large intestine. Especially if you have a heat in the large intestine, you got some sign with uh, Da Cheng Chi Tang sign, right? And there's uh, some dry stool. We're stuck inside of the intestine. So normally this stool is uh, transparent like this way. Okay, so I just write down one more time it here. Large intestine squeeze up the um, this area. Large intestine squeeze up the this area strongly, and then stool might be moved forward to the anus region, right? So this like this way. But if you have a hard stool, the intestine cannot um, squeeze up the this stool, which means stool is still stuck inside of the intestine. Okay, so these are usually cause of the constipation which means heat in here this heat might be dry up the large intestine because it might be exhalate of the large intestine function with uh, absorption of the fluid from the intestines or stool so stool getting the harder and also get dry dry stool and also this hard stool so hard stool which is a stagnate Stagnation of stool. Anyway, in TCM, something stagnate, there's a pain. And refuse to touch. So, in this region, this we call the excess pattern. Okay. This part we call the excess. We call the, this area is the excess condition. And this is a dry condition. Okay. And also, as you see, this uh, we covered the previous, and then we the stool is blocked. It it might be increase of the pressure of the intestine, so that might be make a reverse of the chi to the stomach region. So long chi also strongly push down, which helps to the large intestine function. But somehow there's a stomach region. There's some stagnate that we call the what is that distension, and also this area we call the fullness. The so where is the fullness in abdominal region? Focal distension in epigastric region. So this sign we call the old da chen chi tang sign, which is a dry stool, constipation, then pain, and fullness, epigastric uh, focal distension. All these are large intestine sign. And also there's a stool stuck in the lower part, so that's why deep indicate the lower jaw, right? It also indicate the cold, but anyway, deep and full. With the excess condition. This is a more popular one with uh, the Da Cheng Chi Tang sign. So we call the this this is Da Cheng Chi Tang sign. The Da Cheng Cheng Chi Tang sign. So if patient has a Da Cheng Chi Tang condition, you also has uh, some more sign. This all only show up the with the large intestine sign. So you need the uh, what stomach sign too. What is the stomach sign? The first one is uh, there's a dry, uh, dry old black the uh, tongue coat, dark yellow or the black uh, dry black uh, tongue coat can be seen. So it means the darkness is uh, more severe than the yellow, so as you know. So this patient has a uh, more heat sign, I'm um, the more, what, the heat sign which is appearing in the tongue coat. But normally channel and fu, which one has a high fever? The Yang Ming channel condition is more high, but the most of the Yang Ming channel condition, you got the, what is that? You got the, there's another one, is yellow coat and red tongue red tongue and yellow coat and also pulse is uh, searching this all 
양밍 양밍 채널 컨디션 and this one is actually we call the this the lower part is we call the yangming fu in yangming fu condition you may have a more he sign uh, let's see and here appear in the tongue but when you see the channel and fu channel is a more high uh, temperature but anyway fu you have a uh, dark yellow or black dry tongue coat which means it looks like it seems like more heat but as you know stomach condition is directly related with the tongue coat so if your stomach has a heat your tongue will be dry up or the bunt so like like the like this way sometimes they use the bunt black tongue coat this is a more the dark uh, color or more yellowish color which means the stomach has a more problem right because stomach directly related with the tongue coat and also additionally there's some more sign and the stomach sign is that there's a few more anyway here's the fever worse in the afternoon especially we should 3 to 5 p.m. So this is the earth time, so which means this is the earth getting warm. And usually in high noon, this is uh, noon time actually. The, this is more exposure to the what, heat energy. But anyway, ground is never get uh, hot the, in noon time. So ground is uh, getting warm and hard after the 3 p.m you got the more the warm the ground so which means this earth problem so earth is a stomach stomach has condition so this is another stomach condition with the earth sign okay so that's why this is another sign which is related to earth number one number two and number three is actually here is the heat sensation in the palm and sore sometimes there's a sweating too this is another one four limbs actually controlled by the stomach and spleen so in this region, the mostly the heat in the stomach, you got the this one, two, three. So stomach sign is actually one, two, three. All these are related with the stomach sign. Okay. So the Da Cheng Chi Tang is a reorganized of the this sign and symptom here. So mostly there's a constipation, focal distension, all this sign. And additionally, you got the the dry black tongue coat and also fever worse in, uh, worse in the afternoon especially 3 to 5 p.m. sometimes there's a heat sensation palm and sore these are all indicate the stomach also has a trouble so this uh, da cheng, um, the yang ming fu is not only da cheng chi tang sign there's another one two three this is also related with the stomach sign too okay and the next one is the uh, xiaoyang stage Xiaoyang means uh, there's a uh, help and help the channel and full organ help channel help full but this means health channel which means this uh, you can explain it like this way health channel means help exterior that is help means uh, exterior or organ or interior so this is a help exterior and help help interior. Okay. So if you see that this one, I just reorganized like this way. There's a channel sign and also full organ. The channel is the exterior part, and this uh, interior part condition. In uh, this one, mostly coldness in the outside and also interior. There's a heat in, inside. So according to Shahana theory. So if your coldness affect the skin layer and then it uh, invading into interior part, like a Yang Ming, it created the heat. So that's why heat is the uh, interior sign, the cold is the exterior sign. So cold in the exterior part, you might be have chills or aversion to wind or just like the chills and also there's another one is the fever uh, these two is alternate together 
originates irregularly. If regularly originate, that will be a malaria disorder. But anyway, this is regular origination. And also, we need though some more. If colon is in the channel or exterior part, this is exterior condition. If channel affect by coldness, you might be have some sign with uh, stagnation of the channel chi flow. So that's why chest and the hypochondriac region distension. Some case there's a slightly pain too. This is all a stagnation sign. If you have a stagnation of the this one, you might be have a white purse. And tongue is usually thin white coat. Thin white coat. This indicate what is that? This indicate all exterior condition. And also, if you have a interior condition. Before we go over to the exterior, um, the interior condition, you have to know chest part will be pericardium, and which means senza, and this is the liver and gallbladder, especially the gallbladder part. So this is Xiaoyang channel, so that's why there's a senza channel and gallbladder channel affected. You might be have a chest and have conjunct distension pain, and also there's a wiry purse. If you have an interior condition with uh, there's two organ, same way, there's a senza and gallbladder. If your senza has a trouble, so senza is a water passage. If heat enters to the senza, you might be have a thirst and also irritability and also thirst. And gallbladder has a heat, you might be have a bitter taste. Mouth. Right? Bitter taste in mouth. And also, this fire is uh, following by the gallbladder channel that might be cause of the disease. Sometimes there's a vertigo too. And disease vertigo can be seen in the gallbladder channel's heat. But gallbladder is uh, get stagnate. It might be affect uh, another organ. So gallbladder is wood organ. If you have uh, excess of the wood, that might be part of the art. So jang organ easily attack the jang organ, but the four organ stagnation that might be affect the four organ easily. So that's why there's a stomach has uh, some trouble. Nausea and vomiting. These are another sign. So all together we saw uh, chest and I mean the chills and fever, chest and hypochondriac distension and pain with with wiry, and also thirst, irritability, bitter taste the mouth or dizziness and vertigo with the uh, nausea and vomiting. These are we call the uh, Xiaoyang stage. With uh, what formula can be used for the this one? Xiao. Xiao Chai Hu Tang use. And when you look at the Xiao Chai Hu Tang, there's uh, some Chai Hu is a uh, king herb, the 24 grams. And also Bai Sha, also 24 grams. And this debris is actually Huang Qin, it's a 9 grams. And also there's a uh, Xinjiang. Also use the nine grams. When you look at the, this uh, combination, you might be realize some something. And these two for the exterior condition, release exterior, one cold, one warm, right? And also there's another one with uh, this also interior part interior but it is a one for one and this one is cool so the both are has a good for the Xiaoyang with the living gold and the 
goblet and senza treat by this two herb what about this one the stomach and stomach problem is the goblet uh, and stomach disharmonize you can use it this one and also they added the, some other uh, herb with rancian and sengjang this already sengjang dazao and gansao actually it's gansao so this uh, seven ingredient is actually Shao Chai Hutang ingredient. So you should know about the, this ingredient too. Okay. So please take a look at the next one. But anyway, this uh, Shaoyang stage, you might be have uh, some uh, yellow coat too. Because uh, it is from the outside, you might be have a uh, thin white, but it also has a yellow coat. Which means the Shaoyang stage, you have a uh, health. Slippery and also help why this uh, one of the Xiaoyang stage type of the tongue coat and also there's another one is uh, white coat on the TV area and uh, yellow coat or the gray black or gray on the on root these are we call the what is that Xiaoyang another type of the Xiaoyang stage tongue coat so you should memorize after this one too and the next one is uh, the three in channel before go over to the three in and you have to know this uh, picture first and this uh, spleen and also here's the another one so inside inside of the spleen there's a stomach and there's some food inside okay so the what organ is support the spleen function actually and this is uh, kidney actually and also you can edit the one more heart and kidney both are showing cold right heart and kidney or the kidney okay there's another one is uh, here might be support the something with uh, that is uh, gallbladder and also liver it support the spleen function so here is a spleen and stomach or spleen TNT function this will rely on the heart and kidney yang. or liver and gallbladders the function is a free flow of qi function without this function the spleen may not pursue the normal uh, function okay so that's why you can uh, write down this way so here's the the shangano, i mean the three in channel with the tine and also shawin it must be coal and also there's a drain channel these are we call the shanghanun stage very last one and you can use it this way okay here's the common indication okay and there's uh, some different thing differentiation also some other sign in here so Shahanun. Uh, the first one is uh, here what is the common sign mostly the spleen yang 
deficient sign with uh, proleptide. And digestion. Abdominal pain. Cold limbs. And loose stool or diarrhea. These are all common signs with uh, the tying, showering, cold, and especially here is cold. And also drain channel, all these are has uh, this sign and symptom. And additionally, tying has uh, some additional sign. Usually there's a uh, no thirst. And this all the time thirst. And here's also no thirst. And also there's or there's a thirst but the uh, desire to drink warm liquid a desire to drink of the uh, warm liquid this uh, one of sign which is showing cold so you should know if patient has uh, some the spleen yang deficient sign with the nodules that's supposed to be tai yang or um, the tai yin or shaoing cold if patient has a spleen yang deficiency with the thirst that's supposed to be shaoing cold or drain uh, condition because drain condition or shaoing both has a thirst right so you just keep in mind this one and additionally there's a, some more sign it might be appearing there's some stomach problem may appear. The showing cold sign, you might be have a skinny tongue. With the heart, spleen, and kidney yang deficiency. But it is similar to like the yang collapse. So that's why there's a more heart yang sign you might be seen. It says the heart yang deficiency. You might be have a what's that? The mind, and also there's a, some more sign with uh, what's that? The mind desire to sleep, and usually with cursor in position. Right, and also there's another one is uh, extremely weak purse, weak purse, and also ice cold limb because the heart fails to circulate the blood to the less important organ, which is uh, four limbs. So, these are all related with the uh, heart young more. Anyway, that we call the scenic tongue sign, and additionally, there's uh, some more with. Uh, uh, what's that? Some more sign with uh, general tongue sign or Shishan one sign. So this type of the condition you also put the shao in cold time. And very later this is also really important. The patient has a true cold. And with the four C. The true cold four C this also belongs to showing cold type. Because there's with the desire to drink a warm liquid, this uh, similar is like the what is that? The true cold sign. So that's why true cold and four C among the what six channel theory that's supposed to be the showing cold. And very last one. This is related with the drain channel. Drain channel is actually very end of the, this battle, so that's why energy with so uh, yang energy. Yang or chi. We turn back kingdom for save the king. For save the king, so. 
in Shahanun condition. Almost heart young is uh, what the collapse. So before um, because the enemy invading. So that's why this heat energy return back to the kingdom, which means say, which means heat energy or heat sign rush up to the. This might be have a this sign. Heat sensation to the chest or face. So this is a heat sensation mostly. So that's why they might be have a irritability. With heat sensation in the chest with the thirst, this we call the what he signed. But the, the this area with young deficiency of the spleen, these are looks like cold in the lower part. So that's why this section is uh, quite often explained as like this way. It's uh, heating above. and cold in blow. So heating above and cold in blow this is record what condition? This is record the drain channel. So the we cannot apply the another one with uh, middle jaw is actually located in the middle part and heating above means actually this is a diaphragm. What is this? This means diaphragm. And cold in below this uh, below the belt. So in middle part with stomach vision, we can apply to this way this amount of the heat and also there's a uh, other amount. I mean This amount will be cold. If you have a heat in the stomach, you got the hunger feeling. But the coldness usually may block the, this eating habit, so that's why there's always uh, that. No desire to. Especially, this uh, can be seen in the Diabetic uh, patient who has a design that we call the dream channel condition, and also dream channel. There's additionally one more with the uh, last days with the uh, vomit of the parasite. Especially round one. So this thing is also one of the thing with uh, joint channel condition. So I just uh, make a organize of the, this condition one more time. Okay. So first one is uh, thirst and irritability with a uh, uh, thirst with irritability, and also second one, heating above and cold and below, and third one is uh, hunger with no desire to drink. Or, or no desire to eat. And fourth one is the vomit, the parasite. These are all we call the dream channel. So when you see that this one is looks like all cold sign, but the showing is not only cold sign, there's a heat sign too. Showing heat, which means heart and kidney warm up or heat sign. So showing heat condition is actually with that heart and kidney deficiency or heart fire with kidney deficiency so like a uh, what the uh, insomnia or something like that this uh, we use at the huang nian can be used right so this another one was showing heat so basically we covered up the most of the Shahanun condition which is six days. Okay, please take a look though, one more time after this one. Okay, this uh, Yang Ming, the Yang Ming Pu condition is actually Da Cheng Chi Tan condition. So this uh, Da Cheng Chi. Yang Ming Pu or Yang Ming channel. 
Taiyang Channel and Taiyang um, the there's a Taiyang Channel only, right? Exterior excess and deficiency. Deficiency is usually sweating, and excess has uh, no sweat. The four big this is a channel part and the da cheng chi tang sign is a constipation and hard stool. This these are indicate the four gun problem. And also Xiaoyang stage. Xiaoyang stage is uh, help help. So help and help with the alternate chills and fever, and also hypochondriac pain, fullness and bitter taste in the mouth, and these are will really cover. And also this tiny channel. This all sign and symptoms looks like spleen yang deficiency. So this is spleen cold sign. And additionally, there's a vomit and diarrhea, and no thirst. So this is important, no thirst. And also last one is uh, we said the this two. Showing cold and showing heat type. Showing cold type, you might be have a. Okay, showing heat type. You have a what's up, the heart and kidney indifferent sign with insomnia, or nervousness, the dry mouth and thirst, throat and scanty yellow urine, and sometimes there's a irritability also can be seen, and cold sign. This is a more popular one in showing. A channel usually indicate the sinitang sign, aversion cold, uh, aversion to cold, which is uh, better with the curse uh, cover up, and also body curse up, and also there's uh, cold limbs, watery diarrhea, and also there's a uh, desire to sleep, something like that, and all these sign and symptoms is similar to like the sinitang sign, and also very last one, heat in upper part, and also the cold in lower, which is. Uh, Desire to heat and but the vomit and round warm and extremely cold limbs. Same is like the showing uh, cold type, but there's a more sign is uh, heating up up with a red tongue or a slippery white. Both are can be seen. But anyway, red tongue is can be seen or heat sensation in the upper part, which is, uh, all this is, uh, we call the upper heat and lower coldness. Okay. Uh, there's uh, all this sign we covered the most of the Shanghanun. And anyway, I just uh, make a note for you. So this is the last part of the Shanghanun. So first one is the uh, Taiyang channel. Taiyang channel condition and Yang Ming. Uh, Yang Ming channel condition and also Yang Ming full condition. And also this uh, Xiaoyang. This so Xiaoyang is actually channel, but in, it includes the channel and Fu together, right? And there's a Tain and Xiaoyin, usually cold, and also Juin. I'd like to put the very last one is uh, Xiaoyin, heat type. So they like to asking about the uh, what point or channel selection in this one. Simply, Taiyang channel has a trouble. You have to use it the uh, hand then. Foot Taiyang, and also this uh, also you can use it the uh, hand then foot Yang Ming, and this one also you can use it the uh, hand then foot, because this organ has a trouble. What about this one? Hand then foot Xiaoyang. So this is uh, a basic uh, channel selection in the Shanghanun. So among the three Yang channel, you have to know about this one. All these are related with the organ. Am I right? And anyway, you can use the two channel at here. And also here's the two channel again. This is for expel. Or expels pathogen. Because a two channel is really good for the expel pathogen. And this is for clear seat in purpose. So anyway, Yang Ming channel, you must know about the, these two. I mean, these two questions is quite often seen in the test. They give you the Taiyang channel symptom, and what channel you should select. Hand and foot Taiyang, and also two. And uh, there's a Bai Hutan condition they gives. So hand and foot Taiyang, on um, the hand and foot Yang Ming, and also additionally, there's a two. Okay, so you just memorize like this way. And also there's a four again. In four organ, you can understand this way. This is lung, this is large intestine. This is the LI channel and lung channel. 
if long channel is um, more entering to the long organ, it also connect to the large intestine. And another way, the large intestine channel is entered to the large intestine and also connect to the lung. Okay, here's the question. If you have a one organ problem, this organ problem, we can use it. What on what channel you can use it? Large intestine channel. I mean, the large intestine organ has a trouble. You can choose it the large intestine channel, and also you can choose it the long channel in treatment because these two is communicate or contact or related with the large intestine directly. So like this way, if you have a young man four organ, you can add it motion, and then put the tiny channel because tiny channel also communicate is like this way. What about this one? The gallbladder channel, I mean the Xiaoyang, this is uh, Senzhou and gallbladder. So what organ or what channel also communicate with the uh, Senzhou and gallbladder? Pericardium and liver too. So that's why. And then put the joint channel. This channel is, can be used for the, this two part. So if organ problem, you, you must think about this one, okay? So in the same way, the before go over to the other part, which one? Spleen yang division. So spleen and when meridian can be select. Usually you do maksa on here. But they don't use the spleen channel, they use the foot tying. And when meridian is a common the channel selection among the these three. Okay? So this three means the stream is the street in channel actually. The Tain, Xiaoyang, Jun, especially coal, you can choose it to these two, the foot Tain and Ren. And additionally, you can use it to stomach for the Tain, which means foot Yang Ming. And also, this uh, Xiaoyang, this uh, Kidding too. Kidding UB. So this uh, put showing, and also here is the liver and gallbladder, which means put train and put showing with gallbladder. But in the channel selection, you need to uh, leave it, I mean, the, not simple as like this way. You have to uh, modify up to something. In here, UV and also hand time, which the hand time is uh, long, right? Long and UV, these two is for the exterior condition among the Shanghai nun. So that's why they omit the, these two, especially in here. So there's a foot tie only. I mean the hand and foot yang ming plus foot tie, and also hand and yang ming of um, the foot tie ran and additionally foot shaoyin instead of the the foot tie yang. So that's why foot shaoyin with the uh, kidney channel that will be good for the shaoyin condition. So, but simply you can memorize like this way: spleen and stomach, and also ran. And this one is the uh, what channel? We have to select spleen and kidney yang deficiency. So spleen and kidney and ren. What about this one? Liver and gallbladder and spleen and ren. We can memorize this way. And also here's the very last one with uh, this uh, showing heat type. You can use it uh, and and then foot showing channel. Both are use it. It's only for the heat condition. So showing heat means uh, the heat. Showing means the heart and kidney. Heart and kidney heat sign, which means there's an deficiency. Short showing cold, which means heart and kidney get cold sign. That will be heart and kidney yang deficiency. So sign and symptom is totally different, and also channel selection also is different too. And here's the last one, which uh, you have to know the one more thing. When you use the full organ treatment, you can use the front move and also lower C. 
this uh, also you should memorize what point can be used for the four gun as you know four gun is uh, in, according to yin and yang theory you can use it from mu and also lower hansi too right but the uh, tying condition with the uh, yang organ and also yin organ both are has a trouble in that case you can use it uh, from mu and also back shoe for spleen and also c for foot so you can select the this points.